Attorney General William Barr is heading to Capitol Hill tomorrow, we're told, to face the Senate Judiciary Committee for the first time since release of the redacted Mueller report. Meanwhile, his feud with the House Judiciary Committee has escalated. Chairman Jerry Nadler is planning a vote tomorrow on letting committee lawyers question Barr. The attorney general has threatened to skip that House hearing if that happens. Here's House Speaker Nancy Pelosi with a message for William Barr. I respect the Constitution. Honor your oath of office. Honor the question for the American people. House Judiciary Committee member Greg Stubbe is here, Republican Congressman of the great state of Florida. Good to see you. Uh, let's start yeah, with whether or not it matters who questions William Barr. Well, I think, you know, you come to Congress to hear from members of Congress to ask you questions. Uh, Barr is, is presenting to the Senate, has no problem with the rules and, and the way that they have things set up for the Senate committee. And I think in the House, you should have members ask questions and not staff ask questions. When I did a little research, the last time that staff was allowed to ask questions of a sitting uh, witness goes all the way back to the Iran-Contra affair. So I think uh, Attorney General Barr uh, is, is, is very willing to come to Congress and testify and hear from members of Congress. You know, I'm wondering why you would, and maybe punt isn't exactly the fair word, but why you would put it to other lawyers when north of 80% of Congress is a lawyer. Well, and the other thing that's, especially in the Judiciary Committee, especially on top of that, staff can give you questions as members of Congress to ask those questions to the Attorney General or any witness. Staff can certainly provide you that information. So I don't know why it would be necessary to allow staff to ask the questions when you, you are elected a member of Congress to represent your district, you should be the one asking the questions. Do you think that there's anything that you really want to see answered at this point from William Barr, uh, just in the terms of what we know and what we don't know from the Mueller report. What I would like to know is how did we get to where we are today? What basis was there other than a Russian dossier that was promulgated by the Clinton campaign to begin and get a FISA warrant to then spy on the Trump campaign? Those are the type of questions that I would have for the attorney general. And what things moving forward is the IG or other investigations as to the investigation of the investigation uh, mm -hmm. and where that's all at? All right. I, I don't think that we've seen anything that would signify that William Barr has fear. Uh, but here's what Chairman Nadler says. If the attorney general is afraid to uh, subject himself to, uh, to questions uh, where you can follow up, well, that, that, that may indicate uh, lack of confidence in his own position. And more to the point, uh, we have to get to the bottom of these issues. Correct me if I'm wrong. What are the facts? Is there evidence of fear with William Barr going before the panel to testify? He, he's certainly not fearful. He's testifying before the Senate Judiciary Committee tomorrow, and he said, and, and Chairman Nadler says he wants to get to the facts. We've had 22 months, $25 million of a um, Mueller investigation, 2,800 subpoenas, 500 witness interviews, 500 search warrants. We have plenty of facts and evidence that was, that was in the Mueller report to be able to ascertain if the Trump campaign colluded with Russia. And and the answer to that is no. And the attorney general with Rod Rosenstein agreed not to move forward on obstruction charges. They didn't get the answer that they wanted from that investigation. So now they feel like they need to do anything and everything they can to try to investigate the president. It's interesting. Rod Rosenstein has announced that he's quitting, by the way. He's resigning by the middle of the month or so. I want to give you last word on where you think we go from here. Well, I, I, I know where I would like to go, but I think the Democrats are going to continue to investigate this president because the Mueller investigation uh, conclusion that there was no collusion isn't what they wanted, and they want to move forward with whatever evidence they can to try to impeach the president. And I don't think that's what the American people want. I know that's not what Floridians want, and that's not what I'm hearing in my district. Yeah, it may not be what some Democrats want either. I mean, you saw Speaker Pelosi come out of the White House with Chuck Schumer today, and they were singing all tunes of bipartisanship on infrastructure and other things and moving forward. Uh, Representative Stubbe, thank you for being on the program today. Yeah, Good to thank see you. Me. You too.